What's going on? Tech Tana gets you. Plus more mono green Tron. Got the Dyro. Let's see the opening hand. And that's going to be a mulligan. We only have one of three Tron lands. We need at least two of three in a search card. I should have said that faster before clicking because we do not have a search card here. We do have two Tron lands and a bunch of search. And an extra draw, which is somewhat tempting. But I think we're going to go to five. And we get... The search card, two Tron lands, but we need different Tron lands. We'll uh, take go to four, risk it for the biscuit. And we got there, nice, gotta keep that. All right, put three cards. Well, we don't need this forest. We definitely need to keep these three. Ulamog's a little big. Do we keep the Warping Whale or the Chromatic? I'm gonna keep the Warping Whale here. Get our first look at what our opponent is up to, and it's another Tron deck. Interesting. One Urza's Mine, so that, what that tells me is they either already have Tron, or this is going to be an Eldrazi Tron, or a different Tron build. Double Mine, all right. Something tells me this is not a mono green Tron build. Oof. That's unfortunate. Blue. Interesting. Serum powder. All right. So mono blue Tron. That's useful. Um, I think we just grab ourselves an extra tower here. Run it out. But yeah, no, not the best spot. And the longer we go, the more our opponent has the chance to hold up counter spells. Inventor's Fair. Oof. Let's get a 1-1. One, one. All right, we need a top deck. Well, that doesn't help us. Bad draws, like. Fifty fifty chance of losing Tron here. It's gonna be rough. And we're gonna lose Tron here. Unfortunate. They always seem to target the power plant. Alright, so our best draw is to find our own Karn. Yeah, the great creator. That's unfortunate. Had they gone for the other Tron land, that would have worked out very well, but they didn't. 
So they're going to keep eating away our lands. They can't fully get rid of Tron, though, so we can still top deck. But the longer this goes, the harder it's going to get. And a chalice on two. Interesting. So this feels like the uh, a very prison-esque build. Congregate creator! No. Nope. Well, hold on. I guess that does work. Um... I did forget that sa that still sacrifices, so I probably should have done that last turn. But at least we get the worm coil out. Those put them in a little bit of a tricky spot. Uh, they would l probably like to minus Karn, but that's going to be rough. Or they're going to have an ensnaring bridge and it's not going to matter. Alright, I think this is going to be our last potential... And that's not going to do it. This is definitely a Prison Tron deck if they have an Snaring Bridge main board. Which is rough. Um, nope. Anything we can do? Not really. They're just going to keep eating our lands. Going to say... That was that game. We just did not find a threat. Take in the nature's claims, we'll get rid of the all is dust and one Ugin here. Hmm, same issue. Got them all again. There we go. Uh, we'll put the extra Tron land on the bottom here. We'd rather hold on to our threat. They do have blue, so counter spells are not out of the question, but I think they're going to be more prison based. A welding jar to regenerate an artifact. Pretty useful. Uh, it's, uh, if it, it's not main board, they predicted the nature's claims. Grab a power plant. This is where being on the play will come in handy. Gonna shut them down as best we can on the next turn. On their upkeep. They have Tron, they're only gonna have four mana. They do not have Tron, they have a spell skite. Nothing else.
else we can do this turn. I think we'll keep them at two mana until they don't play a mana. And then our mana source. Then we'll take out the chalice. Oof. Oh, that's all right. We do have an answer for it. Liquid metal coating. Okay. Interesting. Well, I don't blast zone then because they left my con available. Oop. That's going to be the finisher. Yep. Yeah. Double con. So they expected the nature's claim and they expected a weakness to it playing out on the warping whales. Us beating them to... The fact that they have Chalice of the Void does make bringing the one drops a little risky, but they're still more useful than the big drops. Uh, yeah, Mulligan. We need Tron. Like that. There's Tron. We'll keep, unfortunately, we'll put one of the chromatic stars back, right? Yeah. Ooh, Elixir of Immortality. All right, they're on a low roll. We'll go Power Plant, Chromatic Star. Oh, this is going to be their bad mulligan. Drive for green. Grab a mine. A chance they would have scooped to that but the fact we don't have a creature may give them hope because really if they can draw two lands and then have an ensnaring bridge in hand this isn't the worst but mm, this yeah I, I feel for him that's pretty uh, that's pretty bad Ancient stirrings. And this will probably be the end of it. Yep. All right, well, thank you for watching. There's another Prison Tron matchup. I've seen a lot of these pop up recently. In fact, I misidentified the last one as a uh, Dice Factory Tron, but it looks like they're becoming popular. I'll have to look up some lists. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you liked it, consider uh, liking the video, commenting, or subscribing to the channel for more content. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.